bright light said it gonna set my soul Gonna set my soul on fire Got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn So get those stakes up higher There's a thousand pretty women waiting out there They're all living the devil may care And I am just a devil with love to spare So even longest, the most fulfilling <laughs> that you could ever have. The Thank truest you. truest love. And then babies. Oh, and, oh, and then babies. No babies. <laughs> yeah. no I don't babies. know if I want to cheer to that. I know. <laughs> no babies. All right. Uh, yeah, babies. To get in. Lots of babies. I cheered. I drank to it. Feel with me and I never stop loving you. I pray your richest blessings on them throughout the married life, Father. I just pray they'll have a long, long, happy married life. And I ask, Father, that you carry them on their honeymoon safely and bring them home safely when they're ready to come home. <laughs> <laughs> 
and bless them when they go through it. Bless everyone that's here and helping with the wedding. Keep everyone well and safe. Carry us all home safely. And again, I ask that you bless this marriage. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Mama. I told you, I <laughs>
Okay, buddy. You may be seated. It is our privilege and our honor to be here this afternoon as Asher and Teresa are united as husband and wife. We want to thank you for inviting us to be a part of your life in this moment. And we want to symbolize to you by our presence here today, our love for you and our support for you the future of your life. We literally surround you as family and as friends. And we pledge ourselves to so be present in every event and every trial and every joy of your life. As we gather today, I want to give a charge to both Asher and Teresa, the words of which are centuries old. Teresa and Asher, I require and I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God before whom the secrets of your hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant that you are about to make, that you do now declare before this congregation and friends and family your pledge of faith each to the other. Be well assured if your solemn vows are kept inviolate as God's holy word commands that he will richly bless your marriage and he will grant you fulfillment in it. He will establish your home in peace. Pat, you stand by your daughter today as you have stood by her all of your life, surrounding her with your love 
caring for her with your graciousness, being her mother. And so it's my honor today to ask you, ma'am, who gives their blessing upon this marriage? I do, sir. As we come today, it is important that we remember the promises of Scripture. Scripture that guides our lives, Scripture that gives us insight into the meaning of marriage. And today, Teresa's family comes to read from the book of Genesis as well as Ecclesiastes. I will be reading from the second chapter of Genesis. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept and took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. I'll be reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can pick him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Having heard God's promises to us, having understood that from the beginning we were made not to live separately, but together, and accepting the promise that God forms that three-part cord that bonds us together, we are ready to approach God's altar and to declare intentions and vows of covenant together. Throughout the years, men and women have stood before this altar and they have declared their intentions each to the other. I ask you, Asher, will you have Teresa to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live? If this is your intention, will you say, I will? I will. Teresa, mm -hmm. <laughs> will you likewise have Asher to be your wedded husband, <laughs> to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you honor him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain only unto him so long as you both shall live? If this is your intention, will you say, I will? I will. Asher, I would ask you to turn and to take Teresa's hands and in a moment repeat your vows after me. <laughs> what you do today is far more than a promise and it is far more than a contract. What you enter in today is what the Bible calls a holy covenant. A covenant that is made between the two of you and God who has created you. The words that you speak are only symbolic of a deeper truth that you will learn each day that you are married. Asher, would you repeat after me? I, Asher, take you, Teresa. I, Asher, take you, Teresa. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. 
to have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer mm -hmm. or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And to this I pledge you my life. And to this I pledge you my life. Teresa, mm -hmm. would you likewise repeat your vows of covenant after me? I, Teresa, take you, Asher. I, Teresa, take you, Asher. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. To this I pledge you my love. To this I pledge you my love. For hundreds of years in Israel, in weddings, a man and a woman would join to a celebration symbolized by wine. Wine is a developmental process just as your life together will be. It begins as sweet, want, sweet grape juice. Slowly over time, it ferments and it matures. And it becomes that joyful zest that we call good wine. <laughs> as you drink of this, you do so symbolizing that you begin now and you're maturing into the fullness and into the joy of living your lives together. Symbols are powerful. We also have, at least in our Western traditions, symbolized the meaning of marriage through rings. A ring is round, it's whole, it's continuous. There is no ending to a ring. And so as you exchange rings in a moment, it symbolizes that your love for each other is eternal and it goes beyond life as we know it. Likewise, rings in our tradition are made of purest gold, the symbol of highest monetary value. But as you put these gold rings on your fingers, they symbolize that now your relationship with each other is the highest value in your life, a value that is beyond counting, a value that can never be fully known. Asher, do you have a ring, sir? Yes. Asher, would you place your ring on your finger and repeat your vows after me? Teresa, in token and pledge. Teresa, in token and pledge. Of our constant faith and abiding love. Our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Teresa, would you likewise place your ring on Asher's finger? Yes. And repeat after me. Asher, in token and pledge. Asher, in token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of our Father. In the name of our Father. And His Holy Spirit. And His Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We light the unity candle. Okay. Try. Try. I know. I'll just pick it. Just put it in here. Okay. I think we got it. We gotta kill some bones.
Asher, it's my honor to wear today this talus that belonged to your grandfather and to your family for multiple generations. As we bow today for our prayer of blessing, I would like for you all to turn towards me. May I put this on the two of you. Our Father and our God, we thank you for the beauty of this day and of this moment. We thank you that in your wisdom you have brought Asher and Teresa together. That you have brought them to this place where they understand that together they find their fullness. And that together they will enjoy this life so much more than in their separate persons. Father, marriage is not easy. It requires from all of us our greatest wisdom, our greatest love, and our greatest strength. And so, Father, we ask that you would give to them your love, your wisdom, and your strength, and that you would walk with them each day of their life. This we pray in your holy name. Amen. Amen. For as much as Teresa and Asher have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God, their family, and their friends, and have placed their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by receiving rings. I pronounce that they are now husband and wife together. Asher, you may kiss your bride. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> My honor to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Austin. <laughs> 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 I don't think that made any noise, did it? Hey, <laughs> we win. Hey, we win. Yes, <laughs> you're married. Bridesmaids and groomsmen, starting with Kendra Novick and Thomas Maddox. Next is Dee Dee Fagan and Russell Pemberton. <laughs> Next we have Trisha, Trisha Yarborough. Andrew Douglas and Allison, our flower girl. And ladies and gentlemen, the maid of honor and best man, Lee Sullivan and Art Novick. And ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the bride and the groom, Mr. and Mrs. Asher Novick.
right, everyone, it's time for them to dance their first dance as husband and wife. Here we go. But I can try for your heart Our dreams And they are made out of real things Like a shoebox of photographs We see for your tone love Love is the answer at least For most of the questions in my heart Why are we here and where do we go We're not from the so hard It's not always easy And sometimes life can be deceiving I'll tell you one thing It's always better when we're together it's better when we're together Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together
accustomed as I am to speaking. It is uh, welcome to everybody. You know, I, I was going to say this later, but the kids, the only thing Teresa wanted was an outdoor wedding. And I said, why don't you have it in Dallas? Your family's there would be the logical place. They looked around, could not find an adequate place that was available. We're having it in Vegas, and I said, let the weather be good. And listen, it was terrible yesterday, but today, absolutely gorgeous. And I think that's a sign of the future for you two, and I think it's great. Anyway, it's traditional to say a prayer for the uh, bread and wine that we are going to, plenty of wine that we're going to be drinking. And, uh, I'd like to have my brother, Stuart Novick, come up and offer the prayer with the rest of the family. We've got a little rendition. Yeah. yeah. Um, my wife, Cindy, and daughters, Jenny and Ari. And, um, <laughs> yes. No, 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 no more pressure. Except, except when Teresa throws the flowers, we know where it's going. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to say it in Hebrew and Cindy's going to say it in English. Baruch HaTol Adonai Elohim Melachalam Berei Pri Hagafen. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. Amen. Okay, and then the kids will do a, the bracha, the prayer for the bread. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atadai, Eloheinu melech alam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. Sorry, your voice This is uh, truly a blended uh, family. So uh, I'm Teresa's uh, brother-in-law, and I like to speak a blessing. The Bible tells us that there's power in words. It goes as far as to say there's life and death in the power of words. So I want to speak a blessing over their marriage and pray God's blessing on them. May the love of God be above you to overshadow you, beneath you to uphold you, before you to guide you, and behind you to protect you, close beside you and within you to make you able for all things, to reward you with faithfulness, with a joy and peace which the world cannot give and neither can it take away. The Lord bless you, keep you, watch and guard you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and enlighten you and be gracious, kind, merciful, and giving favor to you. The Lord lift up his approving countenance upon you with the tranquility of heart, life continually, and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom all be the glory now and forever. Amen. Yeah, I'm blue. 
and Teresa probably more than they could have hoped for and they've just been so great to us Whoops. and um, I do want to tell Art one thing uh, I do agree with Nancy the Elvis suit would have been a tragic mistake okay. Thank you very much. oh there you are next I would like to thank Teresa for asking me to be part of the wedding it was it was such an honor you know of course when she told me I'd have to audition for the part I thought that was a little harsh but I made it I'm here and it, it's been great. It, we've had so much fun. It's been so much fun meeting all of Asher's family and his friends, his crazy friends. You know, I, I've heard so much about them, and now that I've spent time with them, some of them, some of them I know more about than I ever wanted to. Tommy, Jason, you know, where's Ted? Oh God, we gotta talk about Ted. In all seriousness, it, it, it has been so much fun. I am so lucky to have Teresa in my life. We've had so much fun together in the past. She's forbidden me to speak of any of it, but we really have. We've had so much fun, I'm so lucky, and now I have Asher. It's gonna make it even better. Okay, so congratulations, Asher and Teresa. You're gonna have all the happiness we know you deserve. Thank you. It's getting warmed up. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. It's uh, actually more than uh, I expected it would be. Came here and looked at the place after Teresa and Asher decided they wanted to have the wedding here. And it was daytime and I walked around and I said, well, around the pool, you know, it's nice, it's okay. But you know, tonight I just kind of looked around and I mean, this is really nice. <laughs> My brother was walking around the pool today, checking out where the wedding was going to take place, and they got it all roped off there, you know, private party, special event, and he goes, holy, there must be a real high roller having a party there. Now. <laughs> well, <laughs> it just goes to show you don't really know anything. <laughs> I didn't know whether to embarrass Ash and Teresa tonight or not, but... Uh, I, now, I, 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 one thing co does come to, to mind. The first time we met Teresa, Asha says, I'm bringing someone special. We're going to the Redskin game. And we have a suite at the Redskin Park. And we're going to tailgate. And so we're out there, you know, having a good old time, Redskin fans. And who walks up? in a big old Dallas Cowboy jersey. <laughs> and I mean, she is not embarrassed about being a Cowboy fan. And let me tell you, we had Amy Graves is here tonight, another Cowboy fan. We're up in this suite. They're rooting for the Cowboys. We're rooting for the Redskins. And it was just a great time. And I said, Asher, you got yourself a special girl, and uh, I'm really happy for you, too. One other thing before I give the toast, I, I would just like to say, 
Tomorrow, for those of you who are leaving late, we have the suite over at Bellagio. We have a little brunchy thing. If you want to come by starting at 1030, for those of you who have late flights out, we'd love to have you. Just a little food and drink and talk about the wedding and everything. So just come on over. Uh, and if you can't get up the elevator, just give us a call and uh, they'll, you know, we'll, we'll get somebody to let you out starting at 1030 tomorrow. Anyway, I'd like to toast Asha and Teresa. Have a wonderful marriage, wonderful honeymoon. And hopefully you two will be as happy as Nancy and I have been for our short 37 years. Thank you. <laughs> But um, I just want to start by thanking everyone for coming out. Um, it's been really special for Teresa and I. Um, obviously, you know, it's an emotional time, but having all you here to support us and, and just be our friends uh, through this weekend has just been awesome. Uh, we're just having a blast. Uh, my cheeks are going to hurt for weeks. Um, <laughs> We're just having a great time, and it's just so fun celebrating with everyone. On a more serious note, pseudo-serious, because that's about as far as I can go, um, I'd really like to thank uh, Teresa's family. They have just embraced me from the start. Didn't know me at all. I would met Teresa's mom. I'll tell this story real quick. Before I got engaged, I um, called Teresa's mom to ask permission. So I had it all planned. We were gonna do Memorial Day together, Teresa, a week before. So I had called about a week and a half before to ask permission. And then a week before, Teresa goes, oh, you know, I think I'm just gonna fly back to Dallas that weekend. <laughs> I'll see you another time. So this ruins my plans. I have to readjust. But um, Teresa's mom, true to her word, um, kept, her, kept her secret to herself. Um, she was great, great sport. Um, her family's been so great to me. We had the best engagement party down there. I just want to thank you, and I'm so excited to be part of your family now. Um, it's it's uh, it's just great. <laughs> Real thesaurus up here. <laughs> I'd also like to, of course, thank my family. Um, Mom and Dad, this has been just the best. Anything we wanted, you said, okay. And this is exactly what we wanted. So, it's just, uh, thank you. Thank you, my best man, my mom. Thank you. Finally, just want to thank my beautiful bride. She's so gorgeous. She looks so great tonight. I'm just so lucky. That's what I think every day. Every day just keeps getting better and better with Teresa. I had a million things I was going to say, but I just, I just look forward to seeing her smile. I mean, no one makes me laugh like Teresa does. And um, she's the best. I'm just so happy that she's my wife. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna be wonderful together. Um, sorry to get emotional, guys. Um, <laughs> seriously, open bar. <laughs> this is Asher, you know and love. Let's, uh, let's party, let's dance, let's have a great time. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, have fun, please. All right, everyone.
football sometime in early September. Well, you were lazy about it. You made me wait around. I was so crazy about you, I didn't mind. So I was late for class. I locked my back to yours. It wasn't hard to find. You painted flowers on me. Guess that I was afraid that if you rolled away, you might not roll back my direction real soon. Well, I was crazy about you then and now, but the craziest thing of all, over ten years have gone by, and you're still mine. We're locked in time. Let's rewind. Do you remember when we first moved in together? The piano took up the living room. You play me boogie woogie, I play you love songs. You'd say we're playing house. Now you still say we are. We built our getaway up in a tree we found. We felt so far away, but we were still in town. Now I remember watching that old tree burn down. I took a picture that I don't like to look at. Well, all these times they come and go, and alone don't seem so long. Over ten. Years have gone by. We can't rewind. We're locked in time, but you're still mine.